It's finally here, Persona 5. Undoubtedly one of the most bizarre adventures you've ever set foot in. The long-awaited fifth installment of Atlas's RPG juggernaut has come to PS4 owners. Here at Segment Next, we've decided to put together a beginner's guide of sorts. Here are some helpful tips and tricks to get you on your way in Persona 5. Don't worry, there aren't any spoilers here, but if you'd rather experience this game 100% blind, we don't blame you. First and foremost, you'll need to take notice of the confidants. These characters act similar to the social links from Persona 3 and 4, only this time, you'll obtain Arcana ranks in and out of battle, should you build relationships with them. By increasing your Arcana, you will unlock new cutscenes, new romance options, and new abilities. In Persona 5, it's highly recommended that you switch through multiple Personas on the fly, rather than just clinging to one. Every captured Persona belongs to a particular Arcana, and by switching them consistently, you can take down the tougher opponents. One of the things that should be noted when traversing dungeons is that you are a thief, so stealth is quite important. You don't want to hide in a cardboard box, but you don't just wave in front of the enemies either. Also, take note that dungeons disappear once you defeat the boss, so clear out all treasures beforehand because you can't revisit them. Keep a close eye on the time because you'll be surprised how fast these days go. Dungeons and mementos will leave you drained and force you to sleep immediately afterwards, so if you want to make time for your friends, your job, minigames, or sports, then you'll need to plan out your day accordingly. Luckily, your jobs are quite forgiving, so you can miss a couple days and not be fired. I'll swell. Another thing you'll want to take notice of is your wallet. Money isn't hard to come by in Persona 5, but still, don't act like it's going to burn a hole in your pockets. You need money not just for the activities, but also new weapons, armor, items, and summoning registered Persona. You'll also need some extra cash if you want to make progress with the Temperance Arcana Bond. Aside from increasing your fighting skills, you also want to work on those personality stats. In Persona 5, your personality is divided into five categories, knowledge, proficiency, guts, kindness, and charm. These won't influence your skills in combat, but they are essential in your progress with the confidants. By increasing each of these categories, you'll access new relationships and new job opportunities. But how do you increase them? By playing video games, reading books, doing well on your exams, heading to the theater, and partaking in the many mini games like the Big Bang Burger Challenge. As daunting as Persona 5 may be, keep in mind that you're not meant to complete it all in one playthrough. The various options and paths available for you encourage replayability. Take things slow and just enjoy the journey. Thanks for watching.